Hey everyone, so I did this look. I guess it's pretty good for like Valentine's Day or if I'm going on a date or something kind of simple. Um, if you want to see how I did it, then please keep watching and also let me know if you like this kind of videos because this is probably my first proper makeup tutorial and I think I did a lot better than I used to. So, enjoy! So first of all, I usually start with a clean base. I use Amazonian Clay Tarte and the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. I feel like mixing them together sort of gives me the perfect coverage and the perfect texture. Then you blend 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 with a beauty blender. Mine's not that original actually, it's just a sponge. But it's cheap and it works. Next up, I use L'Oreal Lumi Magic. It's a light infusing foundation and it gives you that glow from, you know, that inner glow that radiates from your skin. And yeah, so this has been my go-to for the last two months I think. And I feel like it has a big difference. The colour of this one is slightly lighter than my skin but I think that's the whole point when it comes to you know, brightening your skin and stuff but make sure you don't go too many shades lighter or else you'll look like a mask. Also, I use the concealer from um, D. Saim. I think that's like a Korean brand. I feel like it works kind of like the NARS Creamy Concealer but it's a lot cheaper and you know, it sort of works. And because I use the L'Oreal Lumi Magic, I don't have to use as much concealer, only a little spots here and there. For my eyebrows, I use this tattoo pen from Clio, Kill Brow. It's like a tinted tattoo thing just as the base of my eyebrows. And I'm gonna brush my brush on my hand to clean it um, because I'm that lazy. And I'm using this Revlon Highlight and Contour Kit. I use the yellow powder sort of to brighten up um, the middle part of my face. I really want to try the Ben Yeah one but I couldn't get my hands on it. Anyways, back to contour, I swipe my brush across the two brown shades and try to find my cheekbone and my forehead. I really like the tan look so I feel like a little bit of bronzer on your forehead and your cheeks sort of bring it out. Then I use the Zoeva palette, it's like a blush palette but I also use it as a bronzer sometimes. I love um, how their pinks are really warm and not overly like pinky on my skin. So I look always sun-kissed. And I go back to the Revlon kit for my highlight. And I put it on the top of my cheekbones and the corner of my eyebrows to make my face pop. Uh, this is currently my favourite eyeshadow palette. It's Tartlet by Tarte. And it's the blue one, I think. The colours are really easy to wear. I feel like a lot of eyeshadow palettes, I only can use a few. But this one, I can basically use all and every single colour. So, um, I make the corners of my eyes slightly darker. Um, I usually use browns and stuff because I find, because of my skin tone, a lot of the really bright colours don't suit me. And whatever is left on the brush, I use it to contour my nose because we're all about recycling. Tip for this is probably to be quite light-handed because you don't want any harsh lines. Uh, back to eyebrows, this is Za eyebrow pencil and I sort of use it to fill it in. Then you comb it because you're all about the grooming and eyelash color. So I find that it helps keep my eyelash looking on point. Um, this is Roller Lash by Benefit. It's really good, only problem is it's not waterproof. So if you go swimming or if you get wet or you sweat, it does tend to smudge. But even that, it's pretty good. Now on to eyeliner. I'm really bad at eyeliner and um, most of the time I won't use it just in case I screw up and I have to start everything all over again. But usually if I do it, it'll just be a very thin line at the base of my lash line. And now to lips. This is by far my favourite item for my lips. It's the Etude House. I have no idea what shade this is because I don't speak Korean, neither do I read it. But it's a really nice brown colour. And if I wanted something reddish, I would put another lip liner on top and sort of blend it out. Lip liners are good because... They don't smudge and they tend to stay on longer, even if you eat and um, you know, whatever you do. So blend, blend, blend. 
And now to set all my hard work, I use Innisfree Mineral Powder. Yes, it's the No Sebum line and so far this one has been really good. No skin irritations, go flip my hair because it's kind of gross. And that's it, my first makeup tutorial. I really hope you like it. Um, it's really simple, you can wear it on your dates, doesn't take very long. And also, um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see more makeup, more fashion, or if you just want to hang out, you know?